Well, this weekend is the Boat and RV Show at the Kern County Fairgrounds. And if you buy a ticket, you also get to see a free rodeo. How fun. Camby's on the go this morning with a preview of the events, including barrel racers, ropers, a rodeo queen. But more uh, immediate, I believe, is a dummy. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, a dummy. A dummy. Uh, this is the dummy right here. Yes, thank you for so clarifying that. So for those of that. you who are thinking it was me, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I am hanging out with a real life rodeo queen. Yes. This is Lindsay. Yeah, the rodeo queens need an introduction like that, don't you think, Lindsay? Of course. Yeah. Isn't she gorgeous, Layla? Love. This is really a lot of fun. Yes. Okay, so Casey, also gorgeous, by the way, is going to demonstrate what do we call this? Dummy roping. Dummy roping. Okay. And Lindsay said this is basically like roping for dummies. Now, Casey actually knows how to do this on the horse, but this is where people start. So initially, she's going to get this going. And what do we call this? This is just getting ready to throw the loop. Okay. And the loop seems like the hardest part. So when you are, when you're going to be throwing the loop, <clears throat> what do you want to work on? You want to work on your hand movements. You just don't want to sit, throw your whole hand. Yeah, because it seems like you would want to do it all. It's all about around. rotating the wrist. Okay, the wrist. so you want to rotate the wrist, and then, and then once she rotates the wrist, she's going to throw it. And you said it's sort of like throwing a baseball. baseball. And sh so show us how that goes. So it's like right here. And then she releases it. Okay, right and then here. and then there's different ways to do a legal catch because I wasn't sure if it had to go around the whole head, but pretty much the only illegal catch, guys, is when it's on one of the um, horns. So, let's see how hard this is. Do we think I can do this? Oh wow, wow! That yes. is a huge she said challenge. It's like, she said it's like for dummies, right? So I figure, come on. Oh, stop. I went to college. I got to be semi-smart, right? Okay, Casey, what am I going to be doing here? Okay, so you're going to hold this with your left hand. Okay. And your right hand with this one and cross those over. Okay. This and looks difficult. Okay, let me grab this. I'm rooting for you, like Candy. This? I'm rooting for Is you. Is this like this? Okay. <clears throat> and then I hold this. Okay, now what? Doesn't she makes it look easy, you guys? She does. Okay, I'm not. I won't throw it until you're away from me because goodness knows what could happen. Okay, so now what am I gonna do? I got the. This is my lasso, right? Okay, and take it and just kind of roll your wrist. Am I holding you it? You want one? it to be like where you hold, like this to this. Oh, your okay. Hand, you want it to be like where it is. So like this. Like this. Watch. Okay. You see? It's, oh. And then so that you'll take your hand. So 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 I go from here. And then now, now I know where to hold it. Okay. Watch right. out! Watch right. out! I'm rooting for you. Am you, I doing it good? You look like you know okay, what you're doing. Okay, now let me see if I can release it. Oh my gosh, they make this look so easy. I'm a close. Look at Lindsay. How how sweet is she? She says almost come on that was not even close that was not even close uh listen if you want to come check this out it starts tonight all the way until sunday it's free to get in all you have to do is uh pay admission to get into the boat and rv show so uh coming up we're going to show you this we are advancing from the dummy we are going to show you the real life <laughs> roping with a horse Ooh. but this dummy is still going to be here sorry <laughs> All right, can't be brown. Maybe next time. Thanks so much. It keeps getting worse. She's on the go with demonstrations from some cowboys and cowgirls who are excited to put Look on a at show. Her face. Look at Camby's face. Oh my God. Camby, will you go, Could please? You have... I'm dying here. Could you have Camby. ruined that anymore? Could you no. have ruined that anymore? Goodness gracious. Yeah. Okay, just toss it I, out to hey, me. Just... I almost choked on my tongue. Can so... someone get John some water, please? I'm Do fine. Can we get an intern, an intern for some water for John? Can we get that going well, right now? I might need an intern just to finish the oh, rest of the show for it. Probably, probably be an upgrade after that. Oh my gosh. All right, so listen, we're live this morning at the Kern County Fairgrounds. I am with the 2012 Rodeo Queen, Lindsay. She's going to explain what we're doing here because we showed you roping for dummies. Now we're going to show you roping for legit cowgirls. I'm sure that's not what they call it. They just call it roping, right? Yes. Okay, we're, what's this? What's going to happen? Bailey... How, how old is Bailey, by the way? 13. 13? Bailey's 13 years old, okay? She is going to come out here on that horse that you saw me riding on, Manny. She's going to come on over here to this fine-looking goat that we have, who, which apparently, if you don't know, guys, boy goats smell really bad, apparently. Okay. Like, raunchy is what but Lindsay said goats to describe don't? how they smell. Of course not. I'm sorry? But female goats no, don't the, smell? The female goats don't smell mm -hmm. as bad, right? No. Why not? 
See? It's just why, natural, yeah, why is that? It's just natural. I have no clue, actually. Probably because girls are better than boys. I'm just going <laughs> to say it. All right, Bailey, let's bathroom. see this, girl. <laughs> All right, here comes Bailey. She's coming out on the horse. And uh, what's the trick Wait to doing this well? Uh, taking <clears throat> time, exactly. Making sure that you get on or get down on the goat. You have the three legs in your hand, and you make sure that you get that knot tied good. I mean, she like whoa, wrestles. This is whoa. like WWE wrestling that goat right there. Time. And then right good here, job. Right here, the goat has to keep its feet in there for six seconds. Okay. If it comes out any time, that will be disqualified. Because sometimes the the knot <laughs> isn't as good when yes. they tie it. Yes. Okay, Bailey, how you feeling on that one? Thumbs up. Good job. The go the goat. <laughs> what? That what is going goat. on with this goat? <laughs> By the way, is, is this mirror? Was the goat tied up? You doing like okay? Is the goat okay? You doing you doing okay, Mr. Goat? Up here he oh, goes. Okay, you're there good. All right, go. all right. Woo. He's up. He's I was good. worried about him. What's his name again? <laughs> Mr. Goat. We yeah, we need a name for him. No, hey, Cam, they when they the do these uh, competitions, is the goat? Like yeah. tied to a pole like that? Because that seems like that makes it kind of easier to, to chase Is down. the goat like tied to a pole like that when they do it? Yes. Yeah. Either that mm -hmm. or sometimes someone has like a hold of it. And then they just kind of let it yeah. go, right? Because like sometimes I've seen it where the goat's kind of going around. Yeah, for younger kids, it makes it harder for adults, like when it's just tied to a stake, because yeah. it could keep running around. And sometimes you will just chase it and <laughs> chase oh. it. And, and chase keep it. chasing so it. That makes it harder. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. All right. Glad to know that goat's okay. Can be. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll go this weekend at the Kern County Fairgrounds, and it's free if you there, go there to watch the Boat and RV Show. Camby is on the go this morning with demonstrations from the Cowboys and Cowgirls out there. Yes. Camby, how's yeah. it going? Let me just tell you, I'm a new fan of Wranglers. You need to get yourself a pair, John. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wranglers. Uh, <laughs> yes. Get yourself uh, but let me tell you. Let me tell you one small problem. This guy, Justin, I said, are you wearing Wranglers? He's like, no, I don't know what these are. I said, yeah, I could tell you weren't wearing them. I could tell. Justin, nine years you've been doing this. Why have you not bought a pair of Wranglers? Just don't like them. Cinch is comfortable. No. I say, you know what? They look good. <laughs> Why would you not want to wear them if they make you look good? Cinch, not your thing. No. Not cinch, your thing. Cinch is way comfortable. All right, we're going to show you guys uh, how they do this, the roping, if you didn't see this in our last segment. Basically, right now, what they're doing is, oh, we got a runaway steer here. He just has a mind of his own, but they're getting one ready in the chute. Now, you're what they call a healer. What does that mean? I rope steers back feet. Okay, and then the person who gets the head is called a header. Can you do both? Yeah. Okay, and so basically what happens is when you show up to do this, do you know beforehand if you're going to be doing, uh, if you're going to be a header or a healer? Yeah, it's whatever you want to do. Okay, so you get to pick, but then you don't get to pick who you work with. You can sometimes. But in this rodeo, you will In this one, to. yes, you can pick or draw them. Okay, and so how this works is you guys kind of work as a team. The first person gets the head, and then the second person gets the, gets the uh, heels, gets the feet on the back of the steer. What's the difference in the difficulty level of both of those? What do you have to pay attention? versus if you're doing the head or the feet? Uh, head and you have to keep your horse in there, get close, rope the head, and healer is going to stay out a little wider, wait for that steer to turn, and then come around and catch two feet that are hopping on the ground. Whoa, okay, so that right there, is the, so he did a good job, exactly right? Exactly what you want to do. Now, what happens if you get just the one foot? Does that happen often? Yes, it's a five-second penalty. Okay, how long did it take you to get good at this? Oh, shoot. Still going at it. Yeah, <laughs> you know it. It looks really difficult. I mean, you guys make it look. You guys make it look really easy. But once you see people keep doing it and doing it, you realize just how hard it is to do something like this. Uh, if people want to come out. The rodeo is at the Kern County Fairgrounds. All you got to do is come to the boat and RV show. If you're at the boat and RV show, you can get on in. Uh, you can root for Justin. Justin, what day are you guys uh, doing the roping? Saturday. Saturday. What time do you know about what time you're going to be doing? Uh, this? Starts at I think eight o'clock. Okay. All right. 8 o'clock if you want to come check this out, guys. John, what do you think about those Wranglers? I know your birthday's coming up. <laughs> Put it on the wish list. Uh, if you want to get me Wranglers, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Cam, Would you wear you them? I know, that's another question. If you get well, them, that's one thing. If he wears them, that's another. Cammy, we'll have to talk about that <laughs> later. I boots if 